First oral question, Baroness Keithley. My Lords, I beg leave to ask the question standing in my name on the order paper. Uh, my Lords, we recognise the important contribution of carers across the country who give their time to look after others. The Government is determined to do all it can to support those balancing work and caring and legislation to deliver our commitment to introduce one week of unpaid leave for unpaid carers will be brought forward when parliamentary time allows. I thank the Minister for his response, but he will not be surprised to know that I am somewhat disappointed. It is now almost three years since the Conservative Party manifesto pledged to give carers five days unpaid leave per year, a modest enough request, I think your Lordships will agree. It was seen as a very important component of helping carers deliver social care while staying in paid work. It is very, very much supported by employers who see it as helping their bottom line because it helps with recruitment and retention, mm -hmm. and 90 per cent of the uh, public think it is a good idea. So here is a policy which costs nothing, it supports social care, and it is hugely popular. Why is the government delaying? Yeah. 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 Well, I, I said that we are committed to this and we will, um, of course, act when parliamentary time allows. But, I mean, if, to be fair, though, if, if, if employers are supportive, of course, they can do it anyway. They don't need legislation to do that. Uh, and we will you know, give the noble lady a, an assurance that we will uh, you know, work with parliamentarians to see if there is an alternative vehicle that could, uh, that could deliver this legislation. The government recognise that it is a good investment to allow people unpaid leave when they are under enormous pressure, and without doing that, you end up having people with mental health disorders and an ongoing cost to society in the future through sick leave and so on. And I hope that the government will recognise that, and when it comes to those eligible for SR1 benefits, that they will make it a one-month unpaid leave. Uh, we, we certainly recognise the, the, the value of, uh, of carers and, indeed, they have a substantial package of, of support. Um, and, as I said, we are committed to this policy and uh, we are committed to legislating on it. Research has shown that the average person has a 50-50 chance of caring by the age of 50, i.e. a long time before they reach retirement age. However, on average, women can expect to take on caring responsibilities over a decade earlier than men. So could the Minister explain what assessment the Government has made of the impact of not legislating to introduce carers' leave on women in particular, and what plans they have to publish this assessment? Well, the noble lady is uh, certainly right, and, and of course we do know that Many carers experience considerable challenges balancing work with their caring responsibilities, which is indeed why we consulted on the policy uh, in the first place. How, how much time would the Minister estimate? How much parliamentary... Would, would my noble friend recognise that there is a significant labour shortage and part of the problem has been the great retirement or great resignation? A number of older workers have withdrawn from the labour market during the pandemic, partly because of the problems experienced in care homes with an ageing population and increasing numbers of people who are going to need to look after older relatives, would the government consider leave along the lines of maternity leave for those in later life who need to just organise some care for loved ones rather than leaving the workforce and never returning? Of course, we want to see um, people supported in the workforce uh, as much as possible, which is why we, of course, introduced a right to request uh, flexible working, and many employers have been able to work with their employees to do just that. But my noble friend makes an important point. Lords, uh, I think the noble Lord Minister probably knows what I'm going to ask him, but I'll have another go. How much parliamentary time does he estimate it would take to put this very modest measure through? And is parliamentary time in such short supply that it can't be found? Well, I suppose the answer to the noble lady's question is how much time Parliament chooses to spend on particular legislation. Obviously, we were committed to an employment uh, bill, um, and uh, you know, the Queen's speech set out a 
packed, ambitious legislative programme with a comprehensive set of bills which enable us to deliver on priorities like growing the economy, uh, etc. And I'm sure your Lordships will spend a large amount of time on studying those bills. As I said, we are committed to this uh, legislation. As I said to Baroness Cleefley, we will look for alternative vehicles and we'll work with parliamentarians to try and deliver what is a manifesto commitment. My Lords. Uh, can the Noble Lord the Minister explain whether the Government has considered how many carers might be able to return to work if this provision were available to them, and whether secondary legislation could be used to introduce this simple measure? Uh, no, no, my understanding is that it would need, need primary legislation. My Lords, it would not take very much uh, parliamentary time. It could be done as a handout bill to a keen backbencher in the other place. So I don't think the government needs to worry too much about that. But when it is introduced, will he make sure that measures in it include people caring for those who are suffering from a terminal illness? Uh, the noble lady makes uh, an, an important point, and of course, uh, as I said, we will uh, look for alternative vehicles to deliver this policy. Um, you know, the details we will, of course, look at any proposals in uh, potential legislation. Further to the deeply committed remarks of noble Baroness Pitt Keithley, how can we, as a nation, more generously and more widely acknowledge the magnificent contribution of carers, perhaps more than? one and a half millions in Britain. Isn't it a great army that is low paid and yet which works so hard every day? Isn't the caring in a home very demanding and forever uh, demanding of skill and application? Why not institute some form of national awards, perhaps decided by the centre, but awards which encourage and help the carer to give even more for those who need. Uh, the Noble Lord is uh, absolutely right and certainly a, a good suggestion and I'll certainly take it back to uh, the department to have a closer look at and it uh, would seem like a, a good idea. But I'd remind the House that you know, we do have a substantial programme of support in place e even only recently in the crisis for, for carers and others, um, you know, in low-income households, benefit from a means-tested benefit cost of living payment of £650, those living in the same household as a disabled person for whom they care, get £150. Uh, families with pensioner in the household benefit, again, pensioner cost of living payment of £300, and that's just within the latest package of support offered by the Chancellor. So, of course, there's always other things that we can look at, but we are um, fulfilling our responsibilities to the caring community. My Lord, if we can find, <coughs> spend a whole day on July the 5th discussing our sitting hours, couldn't we spend that day bringing forward a bill which could complete all its stages and stay? I, I think the business managers would point out it probably takes a lot more than a day to deliver important legislation such as this and going through the proper and appropriate scrutiny procedures. And I think my noble friend has been critical of me in the past when we've sought to bring forward emergency legislation without the appropriate scrutiny. But time is really the problem. Might I suggest to the noble lord that we scrap the rest of the schools bill, which is being trashed from all sides, not least from his own benches, which would give us at least another two and a half days of time in which to debate this important measure. Yeah. 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 The, uh... <laughs> the noble lady is asking me questions that are way above my pay grade. <laughs> My Lords, there's also a Northern Ireland bill which the government uh, might uh, reconsider. Yes. But, my Lords, I wanted to ask a serious question. Uh, it is well known and researched that carers in general suffer from worse mental health issues than a comparative population. Will his department discuss with the Department of Health and Care more programmes to support carers on mental health issues? which will have a positive impact on the world of work as well. Yeah, and on the first comment of the Noble Lord, I'm sure the opposition have got a long list of government bills they would rather drop in favour of this. So, uh, I, let's take it as read that we, we could agree on that, or you could agree on that. Um, I think the Noble Lord makes a sensible suggestion, and uh, I'll certainly take that back. If I could invite... I'm so sorry. My Lord, would the Noble Lord the Minister take this back to the Department and say how strongly the House of Lords feels about it? Yeah. Uh, yes, of course. 
If I could invite the noble uh, min- My Lords, in response to an earlier question, my noble friend said that employers were, of course, free to grant one week's paid, uh, unpaid leave already. Uh, is it the case that government departments do this? Uh, that, that is a good question, to which I'm afraid I don't know the answer. I will get back to my noble friend on that. I would invite the noble uh, minister to consider with his, within his department whether this change couldn't be brought about by uh, a, a, t- a tweaking of the working time regulations, which is secondary legislation. Uh, well, no, I, in response to an, an earlier question, my understanding is that this needs primary legislation, uh, but I will certainly check that, but I don't think the noble lord is correct. <laughs>